I'm on TV. Are you having a breakdown? Not a breakdown, a breakthrough. And I really am ruggedly handsome, aren't I? I'm waiting for the breakthrough. Look behind me. If that camera's recording. Can we be able to see who tries to stall? Yes, he did finish that book. Nice of him to send us a copy. <sighs> Looks like he's back in town. Nice of him to call. All right, guys, you can stop pining for your girlfriend. After all, we got a body full of holes. So what else do we know about our victim? She's got a boyfriend, Evan Murphy, who's on his way. OK, let's go upstairs and see what else we can find. He really is ruggedly handsome. Hmm. Ruggedly handsome hero and his notoriously practical lady friend. Watch a disc that's killing its viewers within three days. Really? You don't think that's a little derivative? Yes, but I am hoping to distinguish the ending. You know, make the third act a um, survival tale rather than a bloodbath. I just can't figure out how to get my heroes out of this mess. So the key is always in the spirit's origin story. Once you have that, you can start to figure out the spirit's weaknesses. If it's using the disc as its portal into our world, then the disc would contain clues as to the spirit's story. Wes, thank you. Thank you. Listen, buddy, it's late. I gotta go. Did you say what it was? It might have something to do with that argument she had. What argument? I saw her in the parking garage around lunchtime talking to a man. I'd never seen him before, but... He seemed very angry with her. Do you think you could describe him to a sketch artist? Yeah, I most definitely could. <laughs> well, I know who the killer is. You see how that gorilla looked at me? Yeah, I think it was lust, actually, Castle. You are ruggedly handsome. Bloodlust, maybe. How about we don't fight in front of the baby? OK, contact Duquesne's next of kin. Let's see if this little guy is indeed his. And then what happens to him in the meantime? Well, we'll get a hold of child services, and they'll place him until we're able to get him back to his family. I think Lenny's right. I think he is hungry. Um, how about you finish up here? I'll grab a uniform, and we'll just go pick up some stuff for him. You really want to do that? Of course. Highly qualified. I have an RHD in child care. And an RHD is? Ruggedly handsome dad. OK, fine. Go. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Don't look at her. Come on. What can I scream? Hello. I'm serious and brooding Richard Castle. And I am friendly, accessible, ruggedly handsome Richard Castle. Wow, Dad. Could your head get any bigger? Can you blame me? I'm accepting the Post Pen Career Achievement Award. It is the biggest honor a mystery writer can get. I am joining the pantheon of greats to whose heights I have always aspired. So, which big head? Uh, I like the ruggedly handsome, smiling giant you. I like the serious, brooding giant you. Oh. All right, Mother, you are the tiebreaker. Which of these should be hanging behind me at the ceremony next week? Oh, darling, you know I refuse to play favorites. I love both of my son's big heads equally. <laughs> All right, I am off to meet a friend of mine whose father just passed away. Oh, Martha, I am so sorry. Oh, no, no, don't be. He had a, a rich, full life and, more importantly, he has a rent-controlled loft in Chelsea, which, if I play my cards right, could be mine. <laughs> Bye. Well, there's the death is opportunity spirit we all love. Oh, looks like we have an opportunity of our own. Oh, let's head out. We'll go head-to-head -head later. 